good day to everyone in this video we shall see how to use the postman tool first we shall see how to create an environment in order to create an environment we should first click on the uh, new menu that is you can see in the left hand side here we have new menu and then you should click on environment when we click on the environment a pop-up it gets opened when the pop-up gets opened, we have to enter the environment name, uh, then also add a variable name and value. This environmental name, it gets reflected as one of the item in the, uh, in the right hand section where we have here no environment. In that uh, drop down menu, this environment name, it gets reflected there. Once the environmental name has been given, then click on the variable name. Here you can give any name, you can uh, give it any name for the variable name. And then we should give the initial value and current value. It is same as the URL of the particular application or any URL. Now as a test engineer, what are all the things that we need to verify in the Postman tool? While performing the ABI testing, we should focus on the response body uh, and the headers in the header we should uh, see the content type and uh, we should focus on test result and the status code that is and the response time these are some of the important things that we need to verify while doing the testing in the postman tool now let us see how to create a workspace in the postman tool we can use the both the cloud or application for the postman tool First, we need to log in. Then, uh, in the top, you can see we have an option called workspace. Click on that workspace. Then, uh, if you have the workspace already, which is created, then you can select it there, or else you can create a new workspace. Once you click on the create workspace, blank workspace is already selected. So now you can click on next. Then after that, enter the name that is we need to give a name to the workspace next uh, in, the, in the next option you can see we have to choose who can access your workspace that is personal or team or public like this so if you are using it for practice then you can use it as personal after that click on create now your workspace it will be created now let us see how to create a collection. These collections, it will help you to organize your API requests. Now let us see the step-by-step -step procedure of how to create the collection. On the left hand side of the Postman tool, you can see we have a symbol that is plus symbol. Here you need to uh, click on this plus symbol or you can click on create new collection on the left top. Here, once you click on this create new collection, you need to select the blank collection or if you want to uh, continue with some template, collection template, then you can choose those collection template also. Now I'm choosing this blank collection. Now a dialog box, it will appear asking you to enter the name of the new collection. Here you need to enter the name for it. You need to give a name. Next, enter a descriptive name from for this collection. Then optionally, you can also add a description to provide more details about this collection. Once you finished giving the name to the collection and also the description, then you can save the collection. Once you have created the collection, now let us see how to add the request to this collection. Because once you create this blank collection, there will be no request in those collection. In order to add the request to the collection, you need to click on those uh, particular collection. There you will see you have, you have an option called add a request. Or else you can see there is a three dots which is next to the collection name. You can click on those three dots. There you can see you have an option add request from those uh, drop down menu. Click on that uh, add request. Now, once you click on this add request, 
by default it will be in the get method now here we need to enter the name for the request so that it will be uh, useful for us to retrieve the information from the server then you can save it then you can save the request the request method it can be get post put delete it may be anything you need to select the request method then enter the url for the request then uh, add any required headers parameters uh, and body content then you need to save the request you can see here we have a save button click on this save button to save the request to your collection this is how we create the collections we can create the multiple collection for each and every features now let us see how to import and export the collections in the postman tool let us start with the import first we can use this import feature to import the curl url which is given by the developer for testing first we need to uh, open the postman tool then here you can see we have an import feature it is in the top here in the left hand side when you click on this import feature you get a dialog box here here you need to paste the curl url this url it will be given by the developer once you give this uh, curl url then automatically the api request it will be imported to the postman tool then you need to save it we can use this import feature to import the collections also which is given by the developer or test engineer or any other team members now we should click on this import feature here you can see they have mentioned a uh, drag or drop we can drag and drop the required collection or a folder or we can select the files or a folder uh, then we then the required file it will be imported to the postman tool now let us see how to export this collection in the postman tool it is also the same procedure first we need to open the postman tool then go to the required collection and click on the three dots which we, which is here here you can see uh, view more action in front of the collection uh, we have the three dots i'm clicking on it then scroll down you can see here we have an option to export click on this export and once again click on export then automatically the collection it gets exported you can store wherever you want you can select the folder with where you want to store this collection and give the collection name and then click on save this is how we import or export the collection in the postman tool in our next video we shall see how to perform this api testing using in the postman tool using this uh, methods like get post put etc thank you for watching our video please do not forget to hit the subscribe button so that you do not miss any of our updates or videos thank you